Okay, so today we have uh, Angel Numbers by Chris Brown, beautiful song. Uh, it isn't the guitar from the record, but it is the chord progression. Okay, so the chord progression is, I wrote it down, um, D major, B minor, F sharp minor, and E major. Okay, so that's the guitar you can hear in the background. Well, that's the chord progression you can hear in the background. And there's like a riff that continues throughout that first half of that song, I believe it's a, me a medley. Um, but this is an acoustic version that I've been doing with a student who likes this song but plays acoustic music. So just thought I'd put it up on YouTube for everybody to try. So we're going to do it with the capo on the second fret. And the chord shapes that I mentioned are relative to the capo. So even though I'm playing a C shape, it's actually a D. The A minor shape is actually a B minor. The E minor shape is the F sharp minor. And the D is the E major. But we'll just call them C, A minor, B minor, and D for ease of use, okay? So, what we do, it's a finger-picking style as well. For the introduction, we're going to take the C chord, and we're going to, uh, if you don't know the chord, it's, let me tell you fingers first, one, two, three, four, on the left hand, or right hand if you're a lefty. So, third finger goes to the third fret on the fifth string, Second finger goes to the second fret on the fourth string. First finger goes to the first fret on the second string. And we want to try and get the string close to the nail, curve under the nail, so that the string rings out. If your fat hand is too flat, it'll sound rubbish. So, curve. And careful with your thumb. You always see people playing like this. It's an uncomfortable way of playing. Keep your thumb on the back of the neck. It's there for support. Okay? So, let me just quickly show you the chord progression. So from the C, to get to the A minor, all we need to do is tuck our third finger in on the second fret of the third string. To get to the E minor, lift your first finger and raise the second and third finger up a string, or down a string in pitch, but up a string in reality. And then to the D, that's your first finger on the second fret of the third fret string second finger on the second fret of the first string and third finger on the third fret of the second string. Now our finger pattern for that introduction, how we do it is like this, right? So you see I go, my index is on the third, middle's on the second, ring is on the one, and thumb is gonna play the bass notes. I'm gonna go five, four, and then play those fingers together. Now careful not to pull at the string, okay? so. Just let the finger do the work. See, let the fingers come into the hand. Now as I switch to the A minor, same, there's some rattle somewhere. Don't know what's happened there. And then E minor, I switch the thumb to the six and five. Do the same with the fingers. And then the D, four, three, two, and one. Sorry, there's a rattle somewhere. Never mind, hopefully it's not picking it up. So that's our introduction. Okay? All right. Now for the verse, we chose different chords. And slightly different strings, okay? Now they're the same quality, this as a D for instance. D, E, F, G, A, B, D6, for instance, but we don't need to bother with all that for now. So, when we do the verse, when the verse comes in, we're going to switch our first finger to the third fret on the fifth string, and our third finger to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Again, close to the nail, curve up, and the strum is now... So I'm going to go thumb on the five, index on the four, Ring and middle on the three and two respectively. All right? Then I'm going to bring in a bar on the fifth fret. Now, if you're not comfortable with bars, remember, don't force it. Okay? What it is, you don't even need your thumb. Right? How how a bar works is that we when we place the bar, the finger over the first string, we get close to the fret, so that you can feel the fret wire on the side of your finger. And then as you as you play as you feel the strings in your finger, drop your elbow. 
only need my thumb. It's using gravity. This is why you see, when you see all the pros that use bars all the time, it's because they're using gravity rather than force. If you use force, your hand will burn and you'll stop. So that's the A minor. Now from here, I'm just going to pivot. I'm going to put my first finger, I'm going to curve it up on the fourth string where it was, and add my third finger to the seventh fret on the fifth. Same strong pattern. And then here, I pull my first finger back a single fret and I add my second finger to the fifth of the fifth. It just sort of dulls the dynamic slightly. Watch. So from the introduction. dynamic go down slightly so that you bring in the verse and then when we come to the chorus we're going to use full bar chord to brighten it up for the chorus okay so what we have here is a bar on the third fret again drop your elbow and then we put an A shape in front so we have the second finger on the fifth fret of the fourth third on the fifth of the third fourth on the fifth of the second and then our strum pattern is five four three two one then we go to that same A minor bar shape. It's an A minor 7, actually, I should say. Right? Now we're going to go to an E minor up here. So that's the first finger on the 7th of the 1st, the 2nd on the 8th of the 2nd, the 4th on the 9th of the 3rd, and the 3rd on the 9th of the 4th. And we go 6, 4, 1, 2, 3 together. And then we go back to this very similar shape, this well, the same shape as that C to a D. Okay, so that's your chorus. I don't know the lyrics, I'm, I'm too old to be cool. So, okay, that's your chorus. And then, because it's a medley, then they have this sort of uh, in the, in the, uh, what do you call it, the intermediate section, the instrumental. We go back to, in our version, we go back to the uh, verse chords and we arpeggiate. We go five, five, four, three, two, twice. So it's So I might make a few mistakes, so please forgive me. So the intro. for all you acoustic players out there that like Chris Brown. I'm becoming a fan myself, uh, I must admit. Um, yes, I am an online guitar teacher, so if you would like face-to-face -face classes, please follow the link in the description below. Please like and comment, share, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.